I do believe that obesity in this country is a big concern and I believe that schools have a chance to do something about it. My name is Donald Celia, I'm the school principal and the summer camp director. Obesity is a big concern and I definitely think schools can definitely help um, with this issue. Um, one way is to provide healthier lunches. Um, for kids to stay healthy and maintain a healthy lifestyle, it's mostly about nutrition. I think physical education should be um, mandatory five days of the school week. It gives the kids a chance to exercise. Um, it will help prevent obesity or at least reduce it. For a lot of children, it's the only exercise that they're getting. I think that schools nowadays are turning healthier. I know when I was in grammar school, we didn't have the best lunch choices, but they're definitely improving, which is definitely a plus. Physical education's come a long way. The trends in physical education since I was a kid, you know, when I was a kid, everybody played dodgeball. We had physical education every day of the week. Um, I remember when I was in grammar school, I didn't get health till freshman year of high school. So nowadays you have um, fitness, you have low ropes courses, rock climbing walls, um, trust building activities. There's a bunch of different things that are incorporated in physical education now. So informing the kids now about muscles and nutrition and ways that what they eat and how it can affect their body will definitely help benefit them in the long run. There are studies that show that uh, physical education is important to the overall education of the child and correlates to how well they do academically. Here at CHP, um, we uh, one of our big classes that we provide is a uh, strength and conditioning class. Okay, so we have gym twice a week and then the third week, the third day, we'll have half strength and conditioning and then half of it to be health. Then not many schools offer that. We do exercises that include building strength, flexibility, anaerobic, anaerobic, all into one um, class period. We also work on skills um, and develop them from a young age. We're, we're starting health earlier, which is definitely a plus. We, we began health classes with our third graders. Besides our regular physical education classes, we have after school clubs and sports, and we also do the Junior Olympics at the end of the year. Obesity is definitely a big concern in our country. Um, I definitely think schools can help with this by making physical education mandatory, allowing more time for physical education classes and recess, and also um, providing guidelines for nutrition um, and uh, providing healthy lunches during the school day. We do encourage our teachers to talk to the kids about healthy snacks and healthy lunches. Um, we do do seminars for the parents to discuss about healthy eating options. Hopefully they take what we teach them here and they bring it home with them, okay, because I know we go over choose my plate and you should always have a balanced plate whether it's a protein, a carb source, and then a vegetable or fruit. So hopefully they can carry that over and then when they get home, you know, it's between an apple or a bag of chips and they choose the apple. So hopefully, hopefully they, they go the right way. You can just hope. That's all you can do is hope that you know you instill into the kids you know your beliefs about obesity and, and what's right and wrong and nutrition and hope that they take it home and, and it follows through at home as well.